Yo, B more, it's the cool B more driver coming at you. Um, so I am going to recap my night, uh, the 27th of January going into the 28th. So a really great night, really late start for me. Very few hours that I did, and I made a great um, amount of money today, not only driving Uber, but with my Get Cargo as well. So, um, first of all, let's start. So, uh, my schedule, I had to tweak my schedule a little bit because my oldest daughter had a dance practice uh, that was literally right smack dab in the middle of the day. So, um, after I uh, picked her up and, and, and dropped her at home for, I took off and went driving. So, I actually started at about 7 I'm just, I actually went offline about, I think I did my last ride about 4.15 is when I dropped them off and it's 5.11 a.m. now. I actually got home about 10 minutes ago. That's when I posted my part two video um, from January 21st. Um, so I actually ended off the 27th of January with $199 and about 88 cents. So 188 of that was, you know, uh, trips and, uh, $11 of that was, was tips. And then I got a cash tip of five bucks. Um, so really good night. I ended off about $208 and some change. Um, but $10 of that. And I'm, when I, when I speak of that, I know I just said I made $199 and some change on the 27th, but rolling into the 28th, I made another $10. So that's where I get my roughly $208 from. Um, so my uh, very last ride, I dropped the gentleman off from the uh, BWI area because I dropped the um, customer off and got another call in that area and took him to uh, the Maryland Life Casino. And that was my last ride uh, for the for the entire shift. So the 27th into the 28th. Um, so really great night, um, even with a late start. And I think I was online a total of like seven hours and 55 minutes. Let's just call it eight hours. So it was really great night. Um, not too many hours on the road. Um, and all my rides, I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I started off. Um, you know, when I, when I gassed up and I got on the road, um, I got two calls in Westminster. Um, one was a long trip request and the other one was right after I dropped off the first couple, got another Westminster request. Um, uh, that was a relatively short ride. And then I got another ride as I was coming in, coming back. Uh, back to the um, Rice's Town area, got a ride there from the San Tonys, took a young lady back to Owens Mills. And then from there, all my rides were in Baltimore City. So I think I was in Baltimore City about 10 o'clock and lots of boosts, lots of boosts going on down there. Um, I don't think I hit any surges, but all my rides were boosts today. Uh, so I was in and around Baltimore City, and I'm I'm talking about the Light Street area, Camden Yards, M and T Bank, uh, a couple Canton rides, a couple Catonsville rides, um, and a couple again, a couple of um, Lithicum rides out by the BWI. So I was pretty much all over the place today or tonight. But I tell you, um, for me personally, I don't know about other drivers, but for me personally, uh, driving in the city during the daytime. Is a little hectic for me. Um, it's not that terrible, but it's not that great. But I tell you, driving in the city at night, starting around, excuse me, nine or ten o'clock, hardly any cars on the road. You know, people are more. I mean, you have, you know, you can get in and out of your lanes as you as you pretty much need to, um, and it's less stressful. So. Man, I love driving in the city at night. Um, that was awesome. Um, but I'll tell you, again, as I put in my last couple videos, if you have not signed up for Get Cargo, you need to sign up. And let me tell you why. Um, so 
the first few days that I had my get cargo, I made um uh $71 in bonus. So what doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're just giving away snacks or you're, you know, or selling the retail ones, that's a lot. And that was just three days. Um, so now my next bonus that's coming up so far, I'm at $122 and I get paid that on the 1st of February. So again, the 1st and the 15th. Now, of course, again, it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but let me tell you something. You know, when you're getting paid twice a month for this, plus you're doing Uber and Lyft or one or the other, um, it adds up. So maybe one of your weeks might be an eight, eight, nine hundred, maybe a thousand dollar week because of your Uber and Lyft and the get cargo. Maybe it might be a little bit more, but when they say drivers average at least another, you know, a hundred to three hundred dollars a month, they're not kidding. I'm almost. Let's see, my first one, like I said, was $71. My, my one to come, and I'm still not done yet, is, is 122 right now. Plus, I have a couple referrals, $20 a piece, that when they get paid, I get paid. So my actual paycheck will be more around 160-something from them. Uh, so... I'm just saying, you're giving away free snacks. Yeah, there's a couple retail items, but this especially is good. It draws more attention at night. So when I'm going up, going to pick up the clubbers or people going from one bar to another, you know, and they see the light glowing on the box. Um, so you can kind of see it right here. So if I turn off my light, I'm going to turn it off for a brief minute. You can see how it glows. The people can look inside they can see the snacks and they use the code uh, and the website and they just go right there and, and they get in uh, at the end of the trip. Or if you pull over somewhere safe, you give them their snacks and it's good to go. Um, one of the one of the pitches that I use um, is that one customer can get up to four free items, four free items, anything beyond the four free items. Uh, it will charge them 99 cents. So only four free items at a time. Okay. Retail items are already priced. So they can buy up as many retail items as they want, but there is a limit to the free. So four free items after after that, if they try to click on something again, it's going to put a 99 cent charge on each additional item. So just let them know that. Um, you know, uh, who doesn't like free stuff? I mean, even with that, Customers may want, you know, like I have Cliff Bars, I have this goodness nose bar, I have Advil, um, I've got the five hour energy drink. So, you know, those I wouldn't say that those aren't things that people wouldn't want. Um, but outside of that, you know, who wouldn't want free stuff? Most of the customers, when I say, hey, you can get four free items, bam, they get four free items. So I had, um, I had um, my first customer. They ordered four items. It, it was it was two young ladies, but only one ordered, and she ordered four items. She shared, you know, two with her with her friend. Um, one of the the clubbers. It was uh, two other young ladies I had picked up. When they looked at the box, they were like, "Oh my gosh!" And when I started explaining it to them, they're like, "Really? Y'all can get free stuff? What's the catch? No catch." They'll, so. When they ask you what the catch is, when it comes to free items, there is no catch. You don't, they don't have to put in a name. They don't have to put in credit card information, telephone number, address. they don't have to put in anything. All they do is click on what items they want. They go to the cargo.menu uh, website. Make sure they do not put www. It's just plainly cargo.menu. They put in the box number, your unique box number. All right, into the box at the bottom of the screen with the four zeros in it. That's where they plug your unique box number in. They go in and they select what items they want. They click. It goes into a basket. They click finish. They click save finish. And then it, they'll get a message on this screen that says your driver will get a text message confirming what you ordered. Either you pull over somewhere safe or you give them 
uh, their items at the end of the ride. Most of my customers said, hey, no problem. I'm getting free stuff. Just give it to me at the end of the ride. We're good. And that's all that happened. So, um, you know, the the two ladies, the last two ladies that I picked up uh, in the Baltimore City area from the clubs, um, they both ordered four items a piece. And it was funny because they ordered the exact same things. So they must really be real good friends. Great minds think alike, I guess. Um, so, you know, out of those free items, I got a dollar a piece for those. So if you think, think about it, I sold 12 items today. So I got a dollar for each one of those 12 items, right? Um, so, you know, my, my bonus went from $95 to about a hundred and 122 96 to about 122 um i know there were some other bonuses that i had in there so you know w when you sell things and you meet certain criteria you get additional money so you might get another five dollar bonus along the way for selling five items or ten items something like that so that adds up and right now like i said i'm sitting at 122 dollars and that's not even including the referrals that I, I see on my referral page that are that are getting paid, they're waiting to get paid on the first. So when they get paid on the first, I get paid on the first as well, just for referring them and them actually making sales. I'm telling you now during the day, you might you might have to point people to your box. But at night when it's glowing, the box pretty much speaks for itself. Customers will ask. I think out of I think I did. um let's see, probably about 17 rides today, something close to that. And out of those 17 rides, at least three groups asked about it. No, actually four groups asked about it. Um, One, he couldn't get his phone to work. Uh, the other girl, she was looking at it and she just didn't. But the other two couples, bam, they did. So you can make, you can make sales, right? It can happen, but this is a great way to earn the extra income just by giving away free stuff. So enough rambling about Get Cargo. I'm going to post it again underneath my, uh, in the description section of this video. <clears throat> go in and click on it. Check it out. If you if if it's something you think you can do, it's too easy. Sign up, bam, wait for your box to be delivered and done. So when I talk about the free stuff, this is the last thing I want to say about it. When I talk about it being free, so the box is free, the goodies that they give you are free, and when they when you run out of a certain item, when you run out of items, they automatically send you the restock supply for free. That's it. <clears throat> all you have to do is just get rid of it, sell it. That's all you got to do. Um and then wait to be paid. What could be easier than that? Um, so I'm hoping that this type system doesn't change. It, it works. It also comes with uh, a double charger on the back, USB charger on the back. Customers like that. It's a fast charger. <clears throat> it's great. So it's a great way to add on that additional income when you're doing uh, ride share. So, um, hey, like I said, so today, again, you know, my in this shift, I made two hundred and eight dollars plus my one twenty two that's pending right now. So I'm about three hundred dollars in right now. OK, um, so that's great. So, like I said, uh, I'm going to post my link, uh, click on it, check it out. And then if you like it, click on that link and just sign up and then just wait. Um, some people may be waitlisted. Some people may get theirs. It just depends on how many hours you, uh, a week you drive. And what I would tell you to do when you do your sign up, put 40 hours. Whether you do 40 hours or not, uh, it's up to you. But put 40 hours because people who have put less than 40 hours that I've talked to, uh, they don't get their boxes or they get waitlisted. So put 40 hours on there. All right, full work week, that's what they're looking for. They want drivers that do a full work week. If you do part-time, I'm not going to say 
there's there's nothing wrong with that. If you do part time, you do part time, right? But in order to get this box, you wanna you wanna tell them that you're doing it at least forty hours a week. That that's how you're gonna ensure that you get the extra income with this. Um, so great program. Uh, so with that, I've rambled on enough. I am getting tired because I have to be up in about three or four hours to take my daughter back to dance practice again. Like these schools, really, wow! Um, dance dancing uh, or just school work in school on a Sunday or Saturday. That's that's crazy. Wow. Um, but anyway, hey, it is what it is. So uh, I hope everybody who was out there driving had just as a fruitful night as I did. If if not more. Um, and I hope that everybody is who's out there driving is being safe, being aware of their surroundings. And if you did complete your shift already, I hope you're home safe and, and just spending time with your loved ones or sleep um, and uh, getting ready to get up and do it again, either tomorrow or another day or today or another day, should I say. So it is the cool be more driver. It is now 527 p.m. on the 28th of January. I am out of here. Got to get my sleep in, get my rest in so I can get up and do this uh, for a few hours uh, on Sunday. So I am out of here. Y'all have a great night. Great morning, should I say. <laughs>